Chairman Durbin, Ranking Member Grassley, and members of the Senate Judiciary, my name is Lisa Fairfax. I am a presidential professor of law at the University of Pennsylvania School of Law and co-director of its Institute for Law and Economics. Prior to my academic career, I worked at uh, corporate and securities law at a large law firm. But before that, I was roommate and a very dear friend at Harvard College and Harvard Law School of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, who I am so very honored to introduce to you today and to the American people. Katanji and I met during our first days of college nearly 35 years ago. Those first moments when you wonder if you belong, she's the friend that made sure we all did. A woman of deep faith in God and unyielding love for family, Katanji defines friendship. She's the friend you're immediately drawn to for their outgoing and friendly nature. As our circle of friends grew, she's the one who became the rock for us all. Even though we are the same age, she is the role model who makes you believe in what she said. You can do it, and here's how. And she showed us how, by the power of her example of hard work, preparation, and excellence that transforms the seemingly impossible into the achievable. Together, we poured our souls into our studies, graduating college with honors, and then doing it all over again when we enrolled and graduated law school with honors. We became sisters and saw each other's families as our own. We both met our husbands when we were students, and we were there for each other as we walked down the aisles, started our legal careers, and eventually our lives as working mothers. My husband, Roger Fairfax, now Dean of American University's Washington College of Law, has described Katanji's impeccable credentials that's distinguished her at every level of her professional career. He also knows her as one of our children's most favorite people in the world. Our college roommate, Nina Simmons, a top corporate lawyer, has described Katanji's unwavering work ethic. She puts her head down and gets it done, even and perhaps especially when no one is watching. Our other college roommate, Antoinette Coakley, a distinguished business law professor, has described Katanji as a coalition builder. We knew early on that she could be anything she chose to be, but also that she seemed destined to be a judge because of her ability to see all sides and render fair and level-headed decisions. But our tight new group of girlfriends also knows that there's so much more to Katanji beyond her brilliant mind. There's her wonderful sense of humor, her gift of storytelling, her heart of gold that always shows up. From the first call you make for advice about your career to the first knock you hear on the door after learning you're diagnosed with cancer, you never have to ask. She is always there. Above all, Katanji is humble enough not to pretend she knows how to have it all. But she does know how to give it her all. And what she gives to her family, her friends, she also gives to the law and to this country. A testament of her character is all the people of different backgrounds and beliefs who understand that essence of Katanji. We've seen that in her endorsements from bipartisan colleagues from the bench and the bar, and from both civil rights leaders and members of law enforcement. And we will see it in the history she will make. I know she is honored and humbled by the significance of this moment not for what it means for her, but what it means for our amazing country. Confirmation of the idea that America is a place in which all of us can feel a sense of belonging and all of us can reach our fullest potential. While challenging, I would summarize nearly 35 years of friendship in this way. By highlighting Katanji's faith in God and country, her intellectual brilliance, her goodness and grace, and a work ethic that makes her perfectly suited for the serious task of serving on the Supreme Court. It is with tremendous pride, love, and gratitude for her willingness to serve that I introduce to you my dear friend and an exemplar of the best of America's promise, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Thank you. Thank you both. Professor